Hello everybody from Plant Reviews today, 6th of February and uh, pretty cloudy day today, well still midwinter, but uh, uh, in my garden, my front garden now are in bloom uh, some of the most uh, beautiful winter flowers uh, I have at the moment uh, and uh, this is the Iris reticulata harmony. Uh, Iris reticulata is a species uh, in the genus Iris uh, and uh, unlike uh, the more famous uh, bearded irises that I have uh, as you can see here in the front garden as well uh, this is a bulbous iris uh, while the bearded irises are uh, rhizomatous so they spread through uh, rhizomes this means that uh, this uh, species, the Iris reticulata, uh, it's, uh, it spreads uh, usually a lot slower than the bearded irises and uh, there are other irises that are bulbous as well, uh, such as the Dutch iris for example. Uh, the, um, um, there are several varieties of Iris reticulata uh, that uh, have different uh, colors. Uh, I love uh, honestly the Iris harmony because it is a beautiful uh, bluish uh, purple color that uh, on the uh, falls uh, is uh, uh, enriched by a bright yellow stripe in the middle and uh, uh, white speckles as well and as you can see the uh, fall is also uh, very nicely veined with deeper purple uh, it is uh, an absolutely striking view in winter because the flowers really stand out against the green foliage and they offer a great contrast with uh, other flowers blooming this season such as uh, uh, the uh, daffodils, this in particular is the daffodil January, that is one of the earliest daffodils as well as snowdrops that are mostly white and uh, well as well as the red and orange uh, fruits of the roses so I have still a kind of a rainbow colored garden even in uh, winter. Um, this is uh, one of the earliest flowers to bloom uh, in the year, uh, so usually it blooms in uh, midwinter, uh, together uh, with uh, a few other uh, bulbs that I just mentioned, like snowdrops and uh, daffodils. And uh, also some crocuses uh, tend to uh, start blooming in this uh, season. The plant uh, leaves are uh, quite uh, difficult to see because they usually uh, start growing just before or at the same time or just after the plant blooms. You can see the leaves are actually starting growing here. And uh, this is actually great uh, because uh, um, in this way the flower uh, stem is at the top of the plant so it can be easily pollinated by um, insects not that there's many insects around at the moment well you can see there is one here hiding in the grass but yeah not many insect pollinators at the moment but well sometimes I still in warm days uh, see bumblebee flying uh, every now and then uh, Kent is quite a warm area, as you know, in England, well, as you possibly know in England, it's, we are in the south, uh, east of England. However, uh, this iris, uh, uh, in this iris the leaves uh, uh, tend to grow, um, they start growing about uh, uh, just before or at the same time or just after the flowers, but at this stage anyway, uh, they are still very very small so the flower is at the top of the flower of the plant uh, after blooming the leaves will basically start growing uh, a lot um, taller than the flower and they can reach even 30 or 40 centimeters uh, of height so this uh, needs to be considered when you think to plant these flowers at the front of the border because while the uh, small flowers will be great at the front of the border. The leaves that will develop after the flowers uh, will be not that great if you are planning to put uh, in the front of the border some uh, mid-spring crocuses, for example, um, 
or small uh, bulbs uh, that bloom in uh, springers, uh, they bloom in late spring because they will be absolutely covered by the uh, iris foliage. The flower is sold as a fragrance but Honestly, in this particular variety, Harmony, uh, I don't uh, uh, appreciate any fragrance. I can't really, um, I, I can't really uh, smell any fragrance. Uh, there is another Iris Reticulata that I don't have uh, in bloom yet. That is called Sensational. Uh, I had it in bloom last spring, and actually, yes, it was uh, quite fragrant. But this one, honestly, I can't really uh, smell any fragrance. Also, the uh, flower is. Uh, so uh, short really that you have to uh, well be on your knees to try to smell the flower anyway uh, what really is in uh, what really this flower is cultivated for are these beautiful flowers it's for the colors of the flower there is such a bright uh, blue violet as you can see uh, the uh, flower itself is not uh, very big, uh, it can be usually between uh, uh, 5 and 6 centimeters and uh, each flower head is composed by uh, three flowers. However, it's a very nice arrangement and the color really it's uh, unmissable. So it is, uh, uh, they are, these flowers are great if planted in huge numbers. Uh, unfortunately, this year I have only uh, one, two, three, four, five, six in bloom, and some of them unfortunately have also been eaten by slugs or snails, so I was not very lucky. Last year I had a marvelous display, I had dozens of irises. A problem with this iris is that uh, sometimes uh, if conditions are not uh, uh, great uh, they tend to uh, rot if the uh, garden if the soil is kept uh, uh, quite humid in uh, summer and uh, unfortunately in this front garden I have uh, quite a few roses and they need quite a lot of water in summer so uh, I don't think that uh, these uh, uh, Iris Reticulata Harmony appreciated very much uh, the fact that uh, the front garden was uh, wet uh, most of the time so probably some bulbs have rotted but uh, I feel pretty lucky that I still have some beautiful flowers this uh, winter as well. Uh, the species comes from the cold and dry mountains of Turkey, Iraq, Iran and Russia. So well-drained soil are a must for this bulb as well as sunny position. It can grow in partial shade but really a sunny position is best for uh, this uh, plant. The um, plant uh, is, uh, uh, as I said, uh, comes from bulbs, so the bulbs of the Iris Harmony are actually very easy to find. Uh, it is true they are very soaked after, so as soon as you f see them, buy them, because uh, yeah, they get sold very quickly. But it is uh, one of the most common uh, bulbs uh, that uh, is sold in autumn, both online and also in a variety of garden centers as well as also uh, supermarkets like for example B&Q in, uh, um, in, uh, in, uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, the bulbs are teardrop shaped and uh, they are covered in like a fibrous netting and it needs to be planted about 5-6 centimeters deep and about 5-6 centimeters apart to give enough space for the plant to grow and also uh, if conditions are right the bulbs can actually multiply in the following year so uh, you will get a nice carpet of blue flowers every uh, winter if uh, you are planting them right. The uh, bulbs uh, then uh, the flower uh, will uh, bloom uh, in midwinter so usually around February in Kent where I live and then the uh, leaves will start growing uh, until about 30 or 40 centimeters and then uh, they will die down usually in May uh, after that uh, ideally the bulbs should be kept uh, as dry as possible so try not to water too much the area where the iris, is, uh, iris bulbs are and then in autumn uh, the uh, plant in late autumn will start putting new roots and uh, sprout again. 
the um, uh, as companion plants uh, if you want to keep them at the front border I would suggest uh, uh, late blooming uh, uh, daffodils such as the poeticus because uh, uh, when the when the iris iris is in bloom the poeticus is uh, not sprouted yet or if sprouted the leaves are still very short so you still will be able to see the iris flower and when the poeticus is in bloom that is usually in between uh, mid april and uh, may uh, the leaves of the iris uh, that have reached already about 30 or 40 centimeters will still be uh, not as tall as the poeticus flower that usually uh, reaches about 40 or 45 centimeters the flower stem so you'll still be able to see the poeticus um, Dersisus poeticus uh, flower uh, another option is to plant these iris together with uh, um, autumn crocuses so when the crocuses will bloom in autumn uh, the leaves of the iris uh, uh, will have long gone so you will see just the carpet of beautiful autumn crocuses in autumn and as well as you planted the poeticus uh, narcissus poeticus uh, its leaves and flowers also will be long gone by autumn when the autumn crocuses are in bloom. Uh, it's uh, a pretty um, inexpensive plant to buy. Usually, ten bulbs are uh, between two and four pounds. Uh, so, no, sorry, between two and three pounds, I believe. So it's not very cheap, but it's also not very expensive either. And um, if you are able to find this iris at the end of the season, sometimes there might be bulbs in clearance, but I have to say that usually you will not find any because this is really one of the varieties that sells uh, uh, quickest in autumn. So really, I would suggest buy a few uh, for your garden if you like it. And then, if you have the chance, if you at the end of the season uh, see still some uh, bags of Iris reticulata uh, in clearance, then you buy some more because I think that uh, for the beauty of this flower, there's never enough uh, Iris reticulata harmony in the garden. They really, really, really have this gorgeous blue color, so bright, especially in winter, that uh, uh, it really. Uh, make you feel that spring has already arrived even if uh, still in the middle of uh, of winter so that's it for uh, iris reticulata i hope uh, not to have forgotten anything as usual i hope you enjoy the video and thank you very much for watching if you would like to support my channel it would be great if you can please subscribe in this way uh, i you help me obviously to produce to make some more videos and if you have any comments or you would ask you would like to ask any more information please let me know oh uh, just one more thing this plant is hardy throughout the uk uh, is the problem is not really the um, frozen conditions, the problem is more in the UK the wet uh, summers that can uh, lead to bulb, the bulb rotting when it's dormant. But really about uh, the cold, this is definitely a plant that can stand the cold in uh, most uh, of uh, the United Kingdom uh, because as I said comes from really uh, dry and cold mountains in um, Russia, Iraq, uh, Turkey and uh, Iran. Thanks very much for watching again and I hope to see you next time. Bye.